Hi everyone, welcome to Excel Highway, your one-stop shop for all your spreadsheet needs. Today I want to share with you a file that can help you create bingo cards. I saw something like this online and I wanted to build something a little bit more um, uh, you know, friendly, user-friendly and a bit more sophisticated with some VBA coding. So basically there's three sheets here. There's the board, which is the end result, where you select the size of the board. You select a group of um, words that you want to fill out the board. For example, I want now to create a four by four board just for sports. And then I click on generate board and I get this pop-up message, four by four board created. And you can see I only have names um, that are from a sport group. I can do the same with body parts. Let's do eight by eight. Okay, the reason you see blanks is I just don't have enough body parts in my list. So let's add economics to that. And now I have eight by eight. See, eight rows, eight columns. And um, I limited this to 10 by 10 so if you try to key in 11 it won't work if you try to key in 8.5 it won't work this has a data validation if you are not familiar with this just go on the top ribbon to data click once on data validation and you have usually any value you can just select whole number in this case for me I used whole number between 1 and 10 that's it so this is the end result um, there are two sheets that I use for um, for this to work. There's a database sheet where you actually define um, the words that you want to populate this table. So if I want to add another, I can take off the filter. You see the slicer over here. It's connected to the database. This is actually a table, as you see, and I've added a slicer. For the group and then I just took that with with cut and paste put it over here and now we just controlled it but let's say you want something else so let's say I don't know uh, let's say a B C and these are gonna be letters so I can just add and you see that G H I J K L J K K. Okay, and you see on the left, this column has a function called rand. Rand returns a number between zero to one, and as you can see, there's a lot of digits. So, this is part A where you set up your um, your group and if you do that all you need to do is now I can select letters and click generate board and it's gonna give me just the letters and of course I didn't key in enough letters but you get the point so if I select economics and letter letters I may, may get some letters somewhere in between so this is how you can control uh, the words that will appear here using the database the last part is the list this is where the actual macro goes into play and I'll uncover the VBA code itself uh, real soon but what basically happens is this table is being copied pasted here by value only what's visual what's visible okay so you see in this case only economics and letters and then there's this helping table that basically there are formulas from 1 to 10 Okay, to 10, well, there's more, I guess, but it doesn't mean anything. But basically, this looks for the um, uh, the uh, largest or the X largest um, number here in this column and pulls the name oh, with a VLOOKUP. Uh, so this looks like a kind of a complicated formula, but if you ignore the... Um, the VLOOKUP part basically in the uh, large you have looking at this list and I'm looking for 
F1, right, plus board A2. Board A2 is the size of the board, so 8, okay, times E times the row minus 1. So basically, what this does, this gives me, and I'll show you, if I just take that, this out, it just gives me the, the number. So this would be 1 through 8, and then 9. So this gives me a unique number for each cell. And then I'm going to look for that number using large. So show me, for example, this cell, show me the first, the highest number here on the list. And then I'm going to search for, with using VLOOKUP, for the word. Okay? If error, blank, because I don't want anything to be shown here. Um, and the macro, what it does eventually, it takes, again, based on the size of the board, it just takes this, copies it over here, and that's it. It gives us the pop-up message. So if you're still with me, uh, so it means that you're, you're enjoying the content. Uh, and before I deep dive into the VBA code, make sure you subscribe to this channel as it's growing and growing and content is being posted um, quite often. Um, hit the like, write me a comment. Um, I'd be happy to hear what you think. So let's deep dive into the macro with the button over here. It's not a complicated code, but that's the beautiful thing about using VBA. Um, you don't have to, you know, do something too complicated. So what do we have over here? We have the first row is declaring the parameters. I have two worksheets and size as an integer. That's it. Screen updating false. This just speeds up the macro. I'm defining the two worksheets. Database is WS as in worksheet source and WD is worksheet destination. That would be list. All right, so I'm copying the filter table by value. I'm, I always use with because I'm using you know different sheets. So with WS and you close it with end with. This gives a, a VBA understanding exactly what are you talking about. So first of all, I'm clearing the destination, meaning here. So I'm clearing out A through C, so it's empty. Then I'm taking the entire table from here, okay, using list objects table number two. And just if you add this part, special cells visible, that means it's only going to copy the visible cells because you see there are many cells here that are, are hidden because of the slicer. So I'm copying that table, going back to list, and I'm always going to paste it at the same location, which is A1, paste special by value. So that's part one. Part two, size equals sheets boards dot range value. So it's this number. I'm taking that as um, as the value. Then I'm going to list. Um, now I'm using list as the source and board as the destination. So first of all, I'm clearing out. Well, let me just. I'm clearing out the board. Okay, so now where were we? So we want to copy the board by value. So the size is just this value that you have right here. Now the source is the list and the destination is the board. First of all, I want to delete whatever I had before. So I'm just deleting it C through Z. It's more than I need, but it doesn't really matter. And then I'm just going to copy from F2, which is a constant, uh, it's always going to be F2, you can see the number, sorry. So I'm always going from F2, and then just depending on the size, is the size of the table that I'm copying, and then I'm just going to paste it over here, um, by value and number formats. Back to, uh, here I just declared board as Again, the uh, WS, I could have stuck with WD, so, but this is just how I 
usually operate. So I'm activating this sheet, then I'm going to auto-fit <coughs> auto those columns so you don't get the cells like this. And um, then I'm going to give those cells the borderline style so they all have borders. That's the end of the width and basically the macro. Cut mode false, so I'm losing those ant lines. Application screen updating true, so you, we we do see the calculations, and we don't since the macro is done, we don't need to to uh, continue this. And then just the pop up message with size, the letter X and spaces between, so it's eight by eight, and board created. So that's the the macro this is the file um if you enjoyed the video i'd really be happy to hear from you in the comment section um, you know hit that like button subscribe to my channel if you want to and um see you next time thanks take care